Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. I also do run my own Etsy shop, so if you guys wanna check that out and see what my candles look like, you can click on the first link in the description box below. And as always, I will leave all the links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description box below. I know I always get a lot of questions about where I get things, so you guys can always check out the description box to find all the links. Today's video is gonna be all about labels and how I print my own candle labels from home. And I am actually shocked with myself that I haven't made a video like this already. Um, so it is gonna be compiled in one video, the printer I use, the label paper I use, where I get it, um, how I print it out, my printer settings, how I put the labels on my candles without any bubbles. Everything like that is gonna be in today's video. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so the first thing that we are looking at right here, so this is a label that I'm gonna be printing out. I just wanna print out one label for right now because I'm just gonna be putting it on one of my candles. And um, this is Online Labels Maestro Label Designer right here. So this is the program that I use for all of my label designing. I absolutely love it so much. I also design my business cards with it. And I also use Online Labels Label Paper as well. So um, again, I'm not gonna be showing you how I design this. This is. Just just a pre-design that I already have. Um, and we are going to be printing it out on the 2.83 by 2.2 inch. Uh, these are the glossy white labels for inkjet printers. So that is what I'm gonna be using. Um, and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to multi-design. Um, so with this, this actually allows you to choose how many spaces you want that design to be printed out on. So if I wanted it to be printed it out on all of these I would just go through and click on all of these and then you can click on blank and then undo all of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do that top left hand corner right there and um, that is going to just print out that label at that top left corner so now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab one of these blank labels from the 2.2 inch by 2.83 and this is just where I keep everything I'm actually organized when it comes to this stuff, so I'm gonna take this out, and then we are going to load it into the printer. Now, this is a Canon PIXMA TS3122. It is a fairly old printer. I got it about maybe three, three and a half years ago, and I don't believe that this is the best and highest quality printer that you can get. Um, however, I did like it at the time uh, when I got it because it was for photo printing, and um, I just like the idea of it being like a higher quality printer for photos, which ended up being a good thing when it comes to printing out my labels because the quality is really nice. Um, I haven't had any personal issues with this printer it doesn't have the best reviews online and that's also why I don't necessarily recommend it to others because it's hard to find it's a little outdated um, I'm looking forward to getting another printer once this printer um, doesn't work for me anymore but for what it is it's pretty good um, however in the description box below I will leave a link to this printer if you guys are interested however I have worked hand in hand with Johnny from online labels he is the social media manager and he he has recommended a different Canon inkjet printer. Um, so I have that linked in the description box of all of my videos because I trust his judgment being the label guy. I haven't personally used that printer, but I trust his judgment with um, actually having more experience and more knowledge when it comes to printing out labels. So that printer will also be linked in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. So we are going to be putting this in the back right here, just like with any regular printer. And actually, I'm gonna be examining this because sometimes the, the mail delivery person, they will accidentally, um, well, I don't know if it's an accident, might be, I don't know. The labels get all bent in the mailbox and stuff. So I like to make sure that I'm using whatever side of the label looks the best. And then what I do now is I go over to, uh, back to Maestro Label Designer, I click on print and it takes me over to this area right here so you can purchase blank labels or print now so we're going to click on print now and then it recommends for you to download adobe reader i don't like adobe reader i don't know why it bugs me um i have not great i don't know maybe just because my, com my computer's old and it doesn't it doesn't like it i don't know why so i'm going to click on open directly from browser 
and this is going to take me right over to um, the printing area so while this is loading I'm actually going to click on my printer settings right here and a lot of you guys have actually had issues when it comes to smudging with your labels and I totally understand I had a lot of issues with that as well I had more issues with the waterproof um, or sorry not waterproof uh, the weatherproof labels from online labels for some reason those smudged on me like crazy they were beautiful super shiny and glossy but they just did not work for me so going over to my printing preferences just so you guys can see and obviously everybody's computers are different it's not going to be the exact same settings for you but just something so you can actually see what I use so see how it says print quality right here I do standard print quality I used to print in high quality but I found that it was depositing way too much ink onto the label and that was what was causing it to smudge so as soon as I took it down to standard it's just enough ink to be needed, but it's not too much ink to where it's going to smudge when you touch it. So that helped me a ton. And now we're gonna go back over here and click on print right up at the top. And then, so this is set to my Dymo label. So we're gonna take it back over to the Canon. So Canon TS3100 series, um, it's already set to color. And then on more settings, what I do is I click default. And these settings work perfectly when it comes to printing out my labels. I did go through the period of trying to align the labels with my printer and it took me hours. It was, it was a lot, it took a lot. So don't be frustrated if it's taking you a lot to get your labels to look right. It took me a lot too, but these were, are just the settings that worked for me after the alignment. Um, it was a little while ago, so I don't necessarily remember the whole alignment process, um, but this is what works for me because if you click on print to or fit to printable area it's going to offset it and make it a little bit smaller the default um, it puts it right where it needs to be so now we are gonna just print it out and that is what it looks like so it's super shiny glossy I'm trying to see if you guys can see the actual quality but it comes out really good um, I remember in the beginning I was having a lot of issues with it. Um, there would be these weird lines across the, um, the lettering, but something happened with my printer and now it's printing everything beautifully. So now we are going to put this on my candle. Okay, so now we are going to put the label on. Now, what I always check for, and this is just because I use two wicks, I don't think it necessarily will apply if you are only using one wick, but I always like to make sure that I am going to put the label parallel to where the wicks are. And I also like to lay a towel down, that way it's not rolling all over the table. And what I do is I just peel off the corner. Always make sure your hands are clean. Always, always, always make sure your hands are clean and I hold taut, so make sure you're pulling it tight on either side, and what I do is I go up all the way to the top, and I kind of float down a little bit, trying to keep it as straight as possible, and then very gently, I push it down, and I just kind of lightly touch the corners, and that's that. The label is on. And there you have it. So that is exactly how I go about printing out my candle labels at home. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process. And one other thing that I did want to mention was I do actually prefer to print out my labels from home versus getting them pre-printed um, through online labels or through another printing service. And the main reason behind that is because I like the freedom and the versatility of being able to change up and print out however many candle labels of a certain sense that I want to. Um, for instance, if I were to order 10 sheets of autumn air when I really only technically needed two sheets and I could have used those other eight sheets um, for other candle labels, that's kind of what goes on in my head is I like the ability to have the freedom to print out whatever I need whenever I need it. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed seeing the process of me printing out my candle labels from home. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you did, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.